Grandpa Newbie reporting for duty with the OG SAB-50. Is it the best marksman or sniper rifle in the game? Let's take a look at the configuration we're going to use. The FSS ST87 bolt gives us a rate of fire of 82 rounds per minute, which is a decent rate of fire and rechamber speed, it decreases that by 11%. Let's take a look at the damage. Headshot, 240. Upper torso, 151. It's a one-shot kill in those two areas. Keep your sights high. Aim high. Go Air Force. But once you start getting down to the lower torso and upper legs, it's going to take two shots. If you look at mobility and handling, the movement speed is decent at 5.3 meters per second. Crouch movement speed, I don't worry about so much because I don't crouch and move very much. I don't like the smell of my feet. The tactical sprint speed speed is a swift 7.1 meters per second. Look at that ADS speed, aim down sight, 214 milliseconds as it's configured. And the sprint to fire speed is all world at 175 milliseconds. Now it takes almost two seconds to swap, so you're going to be using the quick grip gloves if you plan on using your secondary weapon. The Coronan grip wrap. That helps with some of the recoil, and there is gun kick with this weapon. You physically have to recenter it after a shot. As far as the vertical recoil, again, it's fairly significant. Horizontal recoil is significant, but guess what? It doesn't ruin the weapon. You'll see. The XRK Spectre Mod stock that helps with all of our movement speed, our mobility. It helps with our handling. 19% on sprint to fire. It really hurts the gun kick and the recoil but I don't plan on a lot of second shots and I think I can control the kick and the vertical recoil so we're going to go ahead and leave that one on you might consider something else the Moore's dot sight gives you glass and finally the 12.5 inch carbon barrel again it helps with the movement hurts the recoil so you can see a pattern developing here but look at that aim down sight speed seven percent faster all right let's take this beast onto the field of honor and see how it does. I went on two missions with the SAB 50 and they were pretty extraordinary as far as recent gameplay goes. You can see that you got to hit high if you're going to get that one shot kill. You can pretty much get it across the map if you hit the guy in the head. Upper torso, one shot kill, there you go. Medium range in the head. So we started out this domination on Grandpa shooting dead people. He does that. That's a boomer thing. We started out getting fairly well behind, and I was a bit tired of being the only one on the point. So I turned on my mic, and I called the team for help. And lo and behold, there's other big feet on the flag. There was one other player that communicated with me and it was a lot of fun we discussed which flags we were going for which ones we were losing who was going to try to cover the flag you can see where enemy has us doubled and there's some more big feet he put out a turret and even though the rest of the team didn't say much there were another couple of guys players that were always there with us so they were listening and they decided you know what we're, we're going to win this game because that's what i told them we can win this game if we work together sab 50 in the head it's a one shot kill and you remember the 100 plus percent negative that i created with uh recoil and gun kick Due to the stock, I really did notice it. Sometimes you have to say, I love you, with a Renetti bullet. There we got Cheech Marin. He was sunning himself on the cement. Of course, I prefer, I'm preferring thermite lately. And keep throwing them because they've nerfed the trophy system. It's now... Only two. And make sure that guy's not there. Then go back and oh, put a, put one tap in him. 
chased them away, go back and get the point. You can see we have two people, three now on the point. Four, actually counting me. And they're trying to take it from us. Whoa, there's Cheech. I don't like going up there too much. I went up there to gack somebody. I feel like it's camping, number one. But number two, there's two on the flag. And we've gone ahead, and we are not going to give this up. I feel like it's camping, but I also feel like I'm more effective when I'm not exploding. I'm more effective when I'm running around with the weapon when I'm mobile. Kind of like on the horse with the fighter strapped to my back. The SAB-50 just eliminates people. So I wouldn't worry about the kick. Configure it how you want. Make it mobile. I like the 214 millisecond ADS. I like the 175 millisecond sprint to fire speed. Grandpa gets a turret. It's the second one for this game. And it looks like it's a winner. Cover A flag both ways, and we can go pick up A. And Lee A. Verily, we won that one. It was a lot of fun. We congratulated each other. And could it happen twice? This is Das House. Mitt. Dust enemy trying to dust gack grandpa. I thought this would be a perfect test of the SAB 50 in close quarters combat. And like I said, the ADS is better than my pistol build. So as long as the shot is straight, there's a little bit of snap, even for a boomer, you're going to gack people. We get a turret early on in the game. It's tied. The other team, I congratulated them after the game because they wanted to win. There weren't folks prancing about the edges just trying to get kills. There were people on points. And yes, you may buy the farm a few extra times, but what's a KD worth if all you do is cause your team to lose? All right, bring a fighter pilot onto the scene and you up the confusion by a lot. Look at there, they're coming forward. There's somebody tried to knife old grandpa. There he is again. I was merciless on him. He was my merciless kill. A little few love taps from the Renetti. There's the knifer two more times. Finally fell out of that streak. I think it only got to 13. And there are two guys. And you can see that it's a great point defense. And I didn't, like I said, notice the gun kick, notice the recoil. There's somebody with a haymaker trying to stir up the hay in Grandpa's face. That haymaker has become the scourge of Modern Warfare 3. I mean, a lot of people are carrying it, and they're just shooting randomly. There were two haymakers in a row right there. I always like to see the stick on the thermite. It's a feeling of accomplishment. So we're down by one. We need this point, and we end up winning. I really enjoyed both of those games because both teams played the objectives. Please like and subscribe. Helps me, helps the family. SAB is awesome. You should try it again. I think it's the best marksman rifle in the game. Peace.